Hey guys, Aaron and Connor here with Guns and Stuff. Today we are talking about the AK-47 and the AK-74 and which one might be for you. So we're going to pretty much go over the major pros and cons. There's a lot of them, but we're going to go over some of the big ones that we thought of. And if you're looking to get an AK, if you're new to the AK game or you're a new shooter, first off we're going to explain to you what the difference is because some people don't even know what an AK-74 is. Like at the range we say... So we're talking about AK-74s, and someone's like, well, did you mean AK-47? It's like, no, I actually meant no. an AK-74. No, no, Crazy. Well, what's that? And we tell them, but... That's not a thing. No, <laughs> yeah, that's not real. AK-74 isn't real. No. But yeah, we're going to talk about some things, and pretty much the main difference, the AK-74 shoots the 545 by 39 millimeter projectile. AK-47 shoots the 762 by 39 which everybody knows and loves. Yep. Time proven round, so prices. Yep. So we're going to go to the prices. So the AK-47... These run, and these are going to be by online prices current of 2016. Late prices, 2016. Prices fluctuate. But right now, these are about 500 to 600 depending on manufacturer, which, again, we're not going to get into. Rough guesstimate, five to 600 That's just like the, the base AKs. There are some that can go into the thousands. but That's with, like, wooden furniture, yeah. sometimes mag pull. It just depends. Yep. And then the AK-74, I have never seen one go for 550 This is a DDI. Nope. I got this from Classic Firearms. I think I paid seven or seven fifty for it. I've never seen one at this time go for five fifty. No. So if you're looking to save a few bucks right there, that point goes to the AK forty seven for sure. Now another thing, availability. You can go to pretty much any store locally. You know you got Bass Pro Gander, Cabela's, all of that. You're gonna see the AK forty seven. It's it's they're gonna be there. Yeah, I mean, they're it's, all it's over. always around. Now, whereas the AK seventy four. I've never even seen these at gun shows. I've never seen one at any gun store by us. I had to get this online. Now with that, it's the exact same for the ammo. Yep. So you can go get some 762 Walmart anywhere has it. Yep. But that 545 is the same thing online. It, it's price. tough to find in town. I've seen it at one place by us and that's a Cabela's. And I mean every round I've had to put through this rifle, I've had to buy it online. Same with the magazines. Every magazine I had for this rifle, I bought it online. I've never seen mags at any gun store by me for the AK-74. 47, on the other hand... It's everywhere. That means you can buy parts for it literally at any place. At least, the, again, all this is from where we are in our neck of the woods. Yeah. Some places, I'm sure, are different. But definitely stuff is a little bit easier to come by for the 47. Now, furniture, which is cool, the AK-74 and 47, it's almost interchangeable. Like I think I, I'm pretty sure I could take this guard off, put it on that... Put this rail on this rifle. Pistol grip on there. Yeah, pistol grip. The, the only the thing, stock looks exactly the same. It's the same exact stock, but the only thing is the magazines. Now, like we said, mags are going to be a little bit harder to find for the 74. You're going to have to get them online. So parts, ammo, availability. Now, the major, major difference is caliber. This round, the 545, it's a 60, around a 60 grain, 52 to 60 grain. It's a 60 grain projectile, so that's very light. So what that's going to do. And both of these are, it's a 39 millimeter casing. Pretty much this is just neck down for a 22 caliber projectile. But the 545 is gonna be much flatter and much straighter than the, not straighter, I should say, than the 762. That's yeah. such a heavy round. That's like what, 120 grains? 120 like that, to like, roughly. depending, yeah. 123 is like the average. I think tool ammo is 123. Now, the basic concept of bullet size, from what I understand, the heavier the bullet, the more punch it has, but the faster it drops. It drops, depending on the casing. We're talking about these casings. Now, the 7.62 is gonna drop off much faster, but you're gonna have more penetration at those closer distances, whereas the 5.45, it's gonna go it's gonna go flatter, but it's a way lighter projectile. So, like the cinder block, if you were to shoot yep. this five times at a cinder block, the 7.62, cinder block's gone. It would do much more damage than a 5.45 would. And that's just the bottom line. So, and also controllability. For my personal opinion and Connor's, I know shooting out at this accurately, it's much easier to do with that AK-74, mainly for the sheer fact that that recoil and then getting your sights back on is much easier. Yep, th this is gonna have more recoil. It's not unmanageable. It's not no, like you're falling no, down. It's, it's not, not a 12 crazy. gauge. No. I mean, it's not a 12 gauge, but it is a 30 caliber projectile. and It's noticeably different shots side by side. Like if I were to do double taps, I mean, this one is, much easier to get right back on target. Pop, 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 and I will pop. say with this one, it's, I mean, it's not crazy, but that's pretty close to what at least it feels like to me. Yeah, so the main points really, I mean, pretty much it's, it's the caliber. This and is accessibility. Gonna, yep, the caliber. Um, 
this is going to be flatter, maybe a little bit more, a longer effective range, easier to get back on target, easier to shoot all day. But the 47 parts are much bigger. Parts are everywhere. Parts are everywhere. everywhere. Bigger punch. You can get one of these in town. If you're not into ordering online, you're going to have to get one of these online, depending on you know what's going on in the world. Yeah. But um, I think we nailed everything. Uh, if not, let us know in the comments. And we're not going over everything. This is just a quick video. So let us know what you thought. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave your comments. Just so you know, both these rifles are super reliable. Yep. If you haven't seen us throw this in a pond and drag it ball a golf cart, go check it out, see if yep. it shoots or not. Yep. So uh, Connor and Aaron with guns and stuff, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.